Well, it was quite a geomagnetic storm last night. It was a severe one, which uh, produced a huge amount of aurora around the area. We actually saw aurora observed in 30 states around the United States. So, I mean, as far south as Texas and Louisiana. So a very strong aurora last night. There's hope that it might reoccur tonight, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like we might have peaked last night and things were beginning to trail off. We basically had uh, th had a flare on the sun, several flares on the sun, which produced three different what are called coronal mass ejections. Those are huge clouds of plasma that are launched. And if they're launched in the right direction, they head for the earth. And these did. There were three distinct uh, ones of these. The first two arrived last night. That's what gave us a very strong geomagnetic storm last night, or more specifically, a severe geomagnetic storm. The third one was still out there, and they thought that might push us back up to severe again. But it did hit uh, this afternoon. It hit roughly between about oh, 10 o'clock our time and uh, 1 p.m., Pacific time. That's it's a uh, universal time. So this is actually what corresponds to it. That's as strong as it came back up. It only went. It had dropped down to being moderate. Those yellow bars are moderate. It only made it back up into strong briefly, and then that fell off. And if we look, you don't need to know what the units are, but this is the KP index, which is a measure of planetary magnetic activity. And basically, the bigger the number, the more uh, geomagnetic storm storminess is possible. And uh, once it starts to fall off, you can see which is. This afternoon, it just continues to fall overnight tonight. So a lot less auroral activity. The geomagnetic storms are going to be dropping back into the uh, probably moderate range, that G2, as we head towards the overnight hours. And still looking for that auroral oval, according to NOAA, to reach down into uh, central Oregon. So there may still be a slight chance out there, but I think uh, they are, it's looking less and less like that's going to happen. And on top of that, if you go out and try and look for the aurora tonight, you're also going to have a lot of clouds and rain moving in the sea. I mean, make aurora hunting a little difficult.